Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just finished shooting a ton of content for my clients today, which is why I'm super sweaty. Kind of like half business all the way up here, but down here I'm in my uh, pajamas, you know, 2022, that's how we work here. But today I'm going to a pole class. I haven't gone in so long because again, I was getting over the cold for like the past week or two weeks now. So I'm finally going back. I'm super excited. I haven't done a tricks class in a really long time. I'm kind of running late, so let's get really, really quick and let's go to class. <laughs> All right, so I just parked and I usually eat a protein bar right before class. And because I have a lot of allergies, this is literally the only one that has been working for me. This is the Aloha protein bar. This is also my favorite flavor, the peanut butter chocolate chip. They have so many other ones as well. It's gluten-free and soy-free, which yes, those are the two things that I am unfortunately allergic to. But this one is like really nice and filling. It keeps me going usually when I go surfing and when I go to pole. This is what I bring and eat like at least 15, 10 to 15 minutes before I go do any physical activity. One time I went to class without eating and I could not focus i don't like i need to have something in my stomach because it just burns so quickly every single time i go to class like my energy just it needs something to feed off of so that protein bar is the perfect size because it doesn't make me nauseous where i'm like spinning around and i feel things coming up it just gives me the perfect amount of food and energy needed to convert so let's go to class i'm, I'm kind of running a little bit late i'm pushing it today but let's go to class my gosh okay i just got out of class and i am so there's skaters behind me i am so sore right now like you would think that muscle memory would just come back and you wouldn't be and you'd be able to kind of like get everything back the way that i was get the same tricks but i was like sweating my back was hurting after the warm-ups i was already so tired i was like you know what i think i'm gonna sit the rest of this class out but then we started doing some other stretches and warm-up for like side climb but it was really fun i mean i'm really glad that i went i met somebody i met another friend so that's another reason why i want to start going to more of these classes is because i just want to meet some pretty cool fun girls um, some more friends because I noticed that it's so hard. It's so hard to find friends after college because unless you have unless you have in-person work and you really get along with your coworkers. But for me, you know, everything's so remote. So I'm trying to do more hobbies that will just like get me out there, get me chatting with people, using those social skills that I love so much. And so today was super eventful for that and. I really love it. Everybody's so nice at the studio. I freaking love it so much. But anyways, we're gonna go back home and continue the rest of our week.
on to another pole class, but instead of my usual pole tricks, pole dance level one, this is my first level two intermediate class. So I'm very excited. Um, the reason why I wanted to start going into intermediate is because the level one classes started to feel to me like it was dragging, which meant that I was ready to challenge myself a little bit more. So we'll see how well I do. Um, if I just cannot keep up with the class at all, no problem. I'm just going to go back to doing um, pole dance one tricks. But I have a feeling that this is going to be a really good growing kind of challenge for my pole dancing journey. So I want to take you along with the classes and I'm very excited. So let's go to class. going to another pole class today. Yesterday I did the pole tricks two intermediate level so today I'm going to do pole tricks one. I just got really restless today and I had some time on my hands and told myself you know what let me just go ahead and take another class. A couple things that I learned about myself is I am a lot more comfortable going upside down than when I had first started. Uh, when I first started I was not consistent at all and I was just terrified of being upside down even when I was doing like headstands I just did not trust myself but the last class that I did we actually went upside down um, in something called a brass monkey so we're gonna go in and it's kind of a full class today so we'll see how that goes and I'll show you what I learned I have a ton of bruises from my previous pole class like on the back of both knees on the side of my knees on like my shins so people don't really tell you how banged up you get how banged up your body gets because of all that contact with the pole itself that's something that i think most people would want to know before starting is that um, you will get bruises on your legs those bruises on your legs are called pole kisses though very very cute terminology for something that just looks so crazy on your legs i already ate my aloha bar i eat this thing every single time before class maybe 15 to 30 minutes before i say that because it used to be maybe like just 15 minutes before class and i'd be fine but when i took that intermediate pole tricks 2 class and we were going upside down by the end of the class i told myself i need to be eating 30 minutes beforehand and not like a heavy meal I mean like just a protein bar beforehand because if you eat a heavy meal before going to those kinds of classes it might come up <laughs> especially if you're going upside down so that's just something to be careful with I think overall I'm having so much fun with pole I love to dance in general but this is a new way to kind of challenge my body to dance in a different way to kind of dance with a prop and it requires a lot of strength let me tell you you need to be able to pull your own body weight, you know, go upside down, do all of these crazy fun tricks. And I think it's just the best way to challenge yourself. I was talking to my sister the other day because we were talking about physique and how a lot of people work out just to look good, um, which is fine if that's the route that you want to take. But personally, one of the main factors that I look for when I am doing some kind of exercise um, is kind of pushing myself to what I can make my body do. The body is just insane. You can literally hone it as a weapon if you wanted to. You know, when you look at the gymnast just flipping three times in the air, some these football players that are just built like rocks, it's insane what your body can do when you are continuously practicing. But let's go to class right now and hopefully we learn something new and cool. Mm -hmm. 